Hey, I'm Dusty. Friends call me Moose. I'm the dude behind CameraTips.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up and use manual mode on the Sony A6000. Now, on the top of your camera, go ahead and rotate the mode dial to the letter M. Next to that mode dial, you'll see another neural dial, and we're gonna use that to control the aperture. So if I rotate this to the right, you'll see that I am able to select a higher aperture F number. This is great for extending the depth of field or increasing the area in focus, commonly used for landscapes where you want the foreground, middle ground, and background to be nice and sharp. If I go the other direction and select a lower aperture F number, that's going to decrease the depth of field, commonly used for things like portraits where you want the face nice and sharp and the background to be blurred. To control the shutter speed, on the back of the camera, you'll see this control wheel. This is going to allow us to control the shutter speed. So if I rotate this uh, clockwise, the shutter speed will increase. This is great for freezing fast action like sports or wildlife. If I go the other direction, uh, it's gonna allow us to select a slower shutter speed. Great for creative situations where you want to capture motion blur, something like a waterfall and you wanna smooth out flowing water. Now, in manual mode, commonly you select the ISO manually, and you can do that uh, here on the back of the camera by pressing the ISO button and then selecting your ISO. If you're just getting started and you're trying to learn manual mode, I recommend sticking with auto. Not every camera has this ability, and it's one of the things I really like about the Sony a6000. So essentially, you select the shutter speed and the aperture and then the camera will automatically determine the ISO based on those other two values that you've put in. Uh, and in combination with auto ISO, one other thing I like to do is to use exposure compensation. Uh, and what that will do is that'll tell the camera, hey, let's make things just slightly brighter and make things slightly darker. So it'll vary the ISO automatically to get that end result. So to do that, on the back of the camera, go ahead and select this little plus minus icon, and that's the exposure compensation button. And here, if I select a positive value, you'll see how the exposure starts to increase. And if I go the other direction, you'll see how it starts to decrease. So it's just a, a great little uh, fun feature that the A6000 has that not many other cameras have uh, that can be really helpful in learning how to use manual mode. Now, if you're still struggling to figure out how this camera works, maybe you're still unsure of which settings to use, I actually just released a set of really simple cheat sheets for the Sony a6000, which show you the exact settings I use for really common scenarios like portraits, sports, and landscapes, and more. You can kind of think of them like recipes. I show you which shooting mode, which exposure settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Also go over the focus modes I use depending on the subject or scene. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll put a link down in the description below. Until next time, hope you have a great day.